It's one thing you have some troubles against flak heavy ships. Are there specific tips? Um, let's see if I can play this real quick. Show recordings. Do this. Maybe this will be okay. Six flak puffs. So, what I want you to watch is. Those yellow shells are flak. So this is only just now appearing because of rendering delay, but you can see five shells are heading roughly in mid, and then one is going off in the middle of nowhere. And I mean like legit off in the middle of fucking nowhere. So when flak is distributed, 80% is going to be shot in this forward area of wherever you're going. And the remaining is kind of distributed off in, in Never Never Land on the left and the right. Now in this case, with only six flak puffs, this one thing off in Nowhere's landville is probably not going to matter to you. It's really the stuff that's in front of you that's going to matter. I used a Holland in this example because it has 100% hit rate, which means it's always going to throw six puffs of flak. So we're going to see, this is where the flak is going. Now you're going to see there's additional shells which have already left the Holland that are going to go to these exact same place to reset them. You can already see the shells coming there and they just popped a second time. So basically what that means is the AA has marked a spot and it continues to light that spot. And the weird thing about this is flak fires every two seconds and yet it doesn't. It fires fire, fire, or uh, fire, da, 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 da. So it'll hit, it'll hit this spot hit and then somewhere else, hit and then somewhere else, hit and then somewhere else. So it's actually firing like a shell, but then another shell and then that, and then the new location one, which is weird. All it really means is it's gonna lock down this area for X amount of time. And we'll see the next wave of shells coming over here, next wave of shells, next. And you'll notice it's a hit, hit next, hit next, hit next kind of it almost does like a waltz so when you are against flak heavy ships what you're trying to do is tell the ship where to shoot and then not be there and it's going to keep repopulating so if we look at 18 flak puffs which i think is three hollands yeah should be down here so once this all starts lighting off it's going to figure a place where to shoot. Which I think at this angle, it's not going to fire all at the same time. It should fire in ripples. So this one has started firing. Okay, there's the flak. Flak distributes out. There's the six. So there's five in the middle with one off in the middle of Bumblefuck Nowhere. Now we have another holland that's adding in. Now you can start to see this massive distribution. Some stuff goes in the front, and then the rest of the space starts getting filled. And when you start having above 10 flak puffs, I think it is, you start getting a walling effect. So not only is it going to be in front of you, but it's also going to be on the sides. And the more of that shit that's coming in, the more likely those sides start getting thick and heavy as well. Um, so realistically, you're going to hit a place. You're going to hit an amount of flak. Where the answer is, you just don't want to fucking deal with it. You just don't. There's there's continuous, and continuous is going to kill a plane or two or three or whatever, but there's a point where the flak is going to become so obnoxious that you really just don't have a way in other than, like, the power of prayer and gaps and trying to time between the ba, 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 ba. Because theoretically, ba, through, ba. Like, you could, but timing that, I don't think that's something you really successfully want to do, especially because you might have this blow, and then this blow, like, half a second later, which fucks the timing. So, realistically, you're aiming for gaps, or you're trying to position it. You're going in this way, so it's going to go over there, but then you turn. And then it goes over here, but then you turn. You know, stuff like that. But realistically, when there's just shitloads of flak, and you get fucking walled out... You die. So there's going to be a section of time where it's just the answer is congratulations, you're going to get dunked, sir. 
So here we're gonna hit the 10 flak puff barrier and see roughly what happens. Okay, this is uh, 10 flak puffs across two ships. Should be down here, so they should start off roughly at the same time. We have the Oster Holland. There's gonna be the Holland. Well, I think that's actually Oyster. Well, whatever. So we've got ba ba ba. Again, that timing ba. And then the next one. So that got filled in, and then the next one actually explodes even closer because we slowed down. So I'm trying to dive under it because just get the hell out. <laughs> Um, one thing that I have not been able to ascertain is if this fires one second different than this fires, do they track in different spots and locations? Uh, Eraser, uh, who is considered to be an authority on CV stuff, says no, they all go to the same spot, yada yada. Sometimes I'm not sure. Like we saw, it looked like the Oster shot was there, but the Hollands was there. The Hollands moved closer, the Oyster was different, like, it feels like sometimes it tracks differently. The long and the short of it is, when there's a shitload of effing flak, um, you start hitting a point where it's just like, I just don't know, man. I'm just, I don't know about this. There always seem to be some flak that'll spawn just in front of you and you can't turn in time. Part of it's gonna be memorizing the timing. Ba, 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 ba. Place, move, place, move, place, move, place. Kind of like a waltz. Um, speed is very important. The faster your planes are going, the further out the flak is put. If you slow down too much when that next wave gets shot, it's going to be placed right up on top of your face, and you're not going to have the ability to move. So fast, break fast, break fast, break fast. Because you're going to have to break right after those first shells are shot because it's placed, so you can move, but then you need to be fast again so those the next shells are pushed out at a distance. It's a dance. Waltz with it. Even still, you're going to eat flak and die. It's going to happen. It's just part of the fun of the G part of the fun of the gig. And frankly, flak is supposed to occasionally hit stuff and get kills, so sometimes you lose planes. Uh, it's just the reality of the situation. Even the best CV players lose uh, lose planes to flak. You'll see people on forums say you can dodge all the flak all the time, but they don't. So take it for what it's worth.